more jubilation from Bitcoin speculators as the cryptocurrency almost hit 20,000, but it is now plunged midweek, setting off fears that this is once again a massive bubble. Everyone is going to lose their shirts. Sarah, where are we? What's going on? I mean, we, they did lose a lot in price over the last day and a half, and a lot of that may be because its counterpart, Bitcoin Cash, um, has been given a little bit of legitimacy by being added to Coinbase after a long fight to get there, um, which usually does boost prices and add to legitimacy. And there does seem to be a pretty strong battle between the two, but it doesn't mean the end of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. What a reminder of the 1990s, dot-coms, Amazon 2, the bookstores that are all like Amazon. This is what's happening. By the way, this goes back to one of the things that we talked about last week, which is Richard Bernstein, strategist, saying that Bitcoin actually meets all five criteria for a speculative bubble, one of which is more new issues, more ways to play it, as everybody wants to get in on the game. And when you say Bitcoin cash, that's what I hear. And Another, also, hey, it costs less. Maybe it'll quadruple. I think I'll put my money there. And one of his other points is that other that people can easily get access to it. And Bitcoin cash becoming on CoinDesk is exactly one of those things. So here is my point to you. This is what I hear. It, being set up as Either the Bitcoin faithful are right, and Bitcoin is the future, and all things are going to be cryptocurrency, and everybody out there who cackles or sort of asks questions about Bitcoin just doesn't get it, or it's just a gigantic bubble, and speculators are fools, and it's all going to go to a dollar, and there's going to be tears and all that stuff. Here is my point to you. These two things are not mutually exclusive. It can be both. Bitcoin can have a glorious future that is going to change the world. And this run in particular could be a massive bubble. It could go back to $100 a coin. Everybody loses 99%. That is exactly what happened with the dot-coms. That was the argument in the 1990s. Is it a bubble or is it a profound new technology that's going to change the world? Turned out both were right. Lots of people made a lot of money on the way up, lost on the way down, but then made it back if they stayed around for the long haul. So maybe that's where we are going to be headed with all of this. And I think that's completely fair. Oh, fair? Take a position. I no, I think it's fair, because I don't know what Bitcoin's price should be. I do think that there's still a lot more money to come into it. I still talk to people, and everybody's still talking about it, but not everybody has their money in it yet. Because not everybody wants to wake up the next morning and find that they've lost 99% of their money. And that's fair. Yes.